So welcome to Get Ready With Me. Listen, the Feast of, of Dedication is upon us. And uh, this is a little lighter than we normally do. So tonight's uh, broadcast is brought to you by the Heavenly Father, Most High, in the name of Christ, His Son. And our scripture for tonight is Sirach 36, verse 22 and 23. And it says, the beauty of a woman cheereth the countenance of a man, loveth nothing better. And if there be kindness, meekness, and comfort in her tongue, then is not her husband like other men. So we go over scriptures about beauty all the time. This is just a night of fun in terms of how we get ready for high holy days and for um, feast days and the regular Sabbath day. So today, this is literally what I wore to work today. I wore a black turtleneck as my staple in the fall and the winter. And I have a dress um, that Sister Zalia had given me. And I'm wearing a necklace from Latouche, one of my favorite, along with some brass bangles and a scarf. And so I am beating my face tonight with this. This was suggested uh, to me from Natanya from the DOS beauty team. And this is not like your regular price point. It's slightly higher if you're not used to spending money on product. And then my lip gloss is $2.99 from Eben. And I did not put them on because I have an issue with my thumb, but a girl is not dressed until we have nails on. And so my nails, are from Pillar Made, and that would be my finishing touch right there. So as you can see, I have one eye done, and I'm gonna show you guys how I did the other eye. First, I am going to use an eyeshadow primer. So I'm just gonna set the, um, the primer that I just put down mm -hmm. with some, just so that the eyeshadow doesn't rub off and everything. Just gonna pat that on. And you know, I always skip primer. And you know what? It really makes a difference when it's on. Mm -hmm. it, it, it doesn't slide around once it's there. Yeah, especially if you have like more um, oily skin. Like me, my, my eyelids will get like oily throughout the day. So if I'm wearing eyeshadow, I definitely need to use a primer and powder. <clears throat> okay, so now let me show you this. I'm going to use the BH Cosmetics Take Me Back to Brazil palette. Yeah, this is what it looks like. So it has a lot of colors. And the first shade I'm going to get is this light blue color right here. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to tap into that. And with this one, I'm just going to sweep into my crease. Not too harsh. Mm -hmm. And then once I have that blended in, I'm going to use the same brush. And Take this shade right here. It's a little bit darker right here. Mm -hmm. Now with dark shadows, you have to kind of be careful. I mean, at least for my complexion, you do. No, we all do, because if it drops on the face, it's over. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> actually, it's, yeah. Um, I know we had to do our foundation first, but um, I usually wouldn't be wearing foundation right now just to avoid the fallout, because that could really mess up your look. So again, I'm just sweeping this into my crease. And you see how the blue shade before that, I mean, I hope you can see, mm -hmm. it, it really helps to, to blend this sh shade out. I'm going to, this is a Morphe palette, it's the 35-0, I think. And then with another one of these flat brushes, what shade was it? Okay. I'm going to take um, this yeah, gold that's shade. A, that's a neutral palette. That's a nice, that's yeah. a nice one. Actually, mm -hmm. I take my finger first dip into that gold one and then I'm kind of gonna press it in to that area I applied the concealer mm -hmm. so I'm not um, using my finger to reach the, the line but I will do that with the brush now so now to get closer to that line we get a little bit more I'm gonna pat this on as well Let's talk a little bit about concealer and highlight. 
and especially mm -hmm. with all the colors of that Israel has, like from we, we talk about from chalk to charcoal, right? Yes. So, like I don't I don't wear concealer. I need to, especially mm -hmm. when I'm tired. What what color would you recommend? Like how light should you go? How dark should you go for contour? Especially since you're doing that. Like mm -hmm. how many shades lower should it be? So for, okay, so for, let's say MAC, you'll be maybe like an NW55, right? So to highlight underneath your eyes, I'll probably do an NW45, just to give you a little bit of brightness under your eyes and then set it with a, a powder and that's it. Okay, so you, you got me just from looking. That's exactly what I have. Yeah. Because it's kind of in between and that's kind of the challenge that I think that most people have. So I right. have NW Studio Fix 55 and 45. One right. is slightly darker than the other. So it does depend on the season because as a darker skinned woman, I don't want to look ashy. So do you moisturize before you put your primer and everything on? For me, I don't moisturize. I just prime because I have oily skin. So okay. some moisturizer contains oil. So I don't like to use it because the primer I have normally has, you know, it's hydrated and oil controlling at the same time. Okay, so, so they don't need it. So they wouldn't right, need it. Right. So if you have a primer that does that, then you don't necessarily need a moisturizer. But I do use the sunscreen. I definitely use the sunscreen. Okay, me too. So I use the sunscreen and then I do my primer and then I go in with the foundation, etc. So this brush that I'm um, blending my concealer with is a real tech technique brush and it's the number 300 mm -hmm. this is one of my favorite brushes i use it for um my concealer underneath my eye as well as underneath my brow so my eyebrows aren't done i find that i get the perfect eyebrow when they're cleaned cleaned up so and again i have to what the sister said prior to me about your eyebrows being sisters not twins I have to remind myself that because I be in here like they look like distant cousins. Like <laughs> they look <laughs> like. But you know what? Let's talk about them distant cousins now. Man, we all have that one eyebrow that do not like to cooperate. Now, generally, I would do my eyebrows um, before I do my eyeshadow. Yes, but for time's sake, I I did them last. I feel like you can get um, blend your eyebrows out better and bring the look, your eye, whatever eye look you go, you're going for, you can bring it together better if you, you blend your eyebrows out prior to eyeshadow. Mm -hmm. But um, on my yeah, eyeshadow. Yeah, I think I do, I think I do eyebrows first too when I'm doing, yeah. when I'm doing makeup. Yeah. yeah. Um, I don't do it before my foundation because I feel like if I do my eyebrows first, I can't give like my face the attention it needs with the foundation. I, foundation is also key for me too I like to make sure it's laid perfectly and when I do my eyebrows first it, it's hard because I'm like trying to get around I've seen different makeup artists do focus all on the eyes first and mm -hmm. then they put like layers of this makeup on yeah. I don't get it but <laughs> yeah I don't get any I've tried yeah. it I've, I've tried it but mm -mm. And so for my eyeshadow, I just used my Morphe palette. I have a bigger one. It's pretty much the same colors. It's like one of those. The way y'all get these palettes. Wolf palettes from. That's beautiful. This is actually a gift from me, but I have a Sephora, not a Sephora, an Ulta right across the street from my house. So mm -hmm. yeah, that's bad business because <laughs> I'm always <laughs> up in there, always. But um, this palette, it's like a neutral palette. Um, it has some colors, but I use this color up here. For soft glam, you usually want to do something that's more like a flesh tone, mm -hmm. whatever that it may be for your skin tone. So I went ahead and I went in with um, this color here. Mm -hmm. And then I popped this color like on the lower lid. Mm -hmm. And so now I'm going to do my lips. That's usually the last thing that I do. So now I'm going to take um, this lipstick by Alme and it says it's in the color go wild mm -hmm. it's a matte lipstick but i'm gonna put a gloss on top of it last i'm gonna put on some highlight and this is by all as well it's really um 
an eyeshadow palette. But I'm going to use these three colors here. And it's, it's a real subtle highlight. And like the sister said, like sometimes I'll go all the way up, but for this look, I'm going to just keep it simple and keep it right there. All right, and that's pretty much it for me. The day with the kids in a street look by Sister Sarah. Sarah, are you on? Shalom, Mama. My staple is I love denim. So I have a ton of denim skirts, a ton of denim. Um, I'm sure I need to get my stool, but I have a ton of like maxi okay. style denim that's jackets, good. even like short waist length, just in case I want to switch it up. And I've even started collecting some denim pieces for Ruby. So Ruby has a children's place denim jacket. This was actually thrifted from Goodwill for like $2. Mm. And it was brand new. The tag was still on it. And um, we have a denim. Well, it's kind of like chambray, which is gives the appearance of denim, but not really. Yes, like so we have... Yeah, so we have the dress for Ruby. And we have her some cute little high top kit. Mm -hmm. Hair is also from Visa Boutique as well. Mm -hmm. She has a ton of them. Okay. And for me, my denim jacket was thrifted and it's from Zara. The brand is Zara, mm -hmm. but I thrifted it for about $10, um, I think. So my dress is from H&M. It's kind of pleated a little bit. For shoes, I would just wear like some booties. Mm -hmm. I have Solomon's Beauty Gold. Gold of Ophir, Brass Bangles, that song. Where'd you get those? Those are beautiful. Solomon's Beauty is actually my brand. Um, 100% African bead. Yeah, she makes beautiful stuff. They try to tell us that our strength is measured by a man. That's not true, that's not true. And a woman's role is weakness if we submit to him. Lies, lies, lies. But we know what true power.